So I, I think uh, the previous speaker gave a pretty nice overview of what uh, the discussion so far, the, the direction that it has taken. I'll just add a couple of points to that and I feel that might just give the context to the conversation in this session as well. Uh, one, this idea of blue economy as a connecting uh, element in the, in the Bay of Bengal region. That, that in itself, uh, the re a region, a development of a regional blue economy strategy. Uh, that is one potential that can overcome a lot of differences that exist in this region among the countries. And blue economy has that potential. Uh, the other one uh, takeaway for me personally, uh, uh, whether it was the first workshop and the first session today as well, uh, was this idea of understanding the top-down and bottom-up currents of how blue economy is going to be implemented. Uh, in a federal structure like uh, in, in, as it exists in India, uh, we have to understand how blue, blue economy is being formalized at national level, but how it gets translated uh, at the very bottom level, uh, that remains a challenge uh, as of now. So the first session, to an extent, answered some of these quest uh, questions in terms of the tools that we can have uh, in addressing some of the challenges related to blue economy. Uh, I think one area which continues to be, uh, I think, needs a little more enunciation at this point would be how what sort of an impact, transition, transitional impact will blue economy or the policies of blue economy uh, have on the larger populations in this region uh, who are not only dependent for their food security and uh, cultural uh, and other linkages with the ocean, uh, but a transition, as we are calling it, a, a massive transition in how blue economy is going to be implemented will have a, com a, a, new, a, a very different impact on their lives. So that, uh, I think that bottom-up, aspect of blue economy is something that can uh, we can take forward in this session as well. Uh, I think uh, that's uh, about it from my side, Joel. Uh, and I hope, uh, and I'm looking forward to a very fruitful discussion in this session. Thank you so much, Saurabh, and thank you for launching this, uh, you know, kind of bullet point uh, flagging issues, uh, kind of pitch uh, and discussion. Uh, uh, type. Uh, I, 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 I remind everyone that you're from the Nar um, National Maritime Foundation. Uh, Chime Yodon is your your colleague. Chime, you want to add a, a few things? Yes, yes. Have the floor. You. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, Sora, for uh, giving the um, brief background of the um, discussion uh, that we had so far. And I wanted to uh, point out this uh, one aspect of the discussion. Uh, all the panelists have uh, talked about the data collection. So I wanted to uh, discuss about the data collection methodology, which I think is uh, important um, to point out because the uh, lack of uh, transparency and accuracy and utility, uh, which leads to a, man a manipulation or a misrepresentation of data, which could again lead to a uh, maladaptation to climate change, which uh, I think is very important to discuss uh, while doing a research, I myself face uh, such kind of uh, difficulty in interpretation of data because um, uh, this one example, uh, if I may uh, discuss it with you all, um, I have a uh, kind of an assess the um, mangrove uh, status of um, man mangrove uh, forest cover in India, its status uh, over the years. And it shows the increase in mangrove forest cover in India, which, um, uh, and despite of the many studies which shows otherwise. Uh, so in such case, I think we should uh, talk about the transparency of data uh, and accuracy of it. And also this other aspect, which is also important, uh, regional climate modeling uh, in so far, um, in India, uh, for example, there's lack of uh, regional climate modeling, a uh, projection of uh, climate projections so far. So that uh, don't, uh, we have to depend on the downscaling data. So that is also one aspect that we can talk about in uh, terms of uh, more research and also funding. And also regional cooperation is something that we can discuss when it comes to blue economy. That are the few uh, points I want to highlight. Thank you. Thank you, Chime. Uh, very useful. As researchers, we always want to know how useful our research or uh, data we develop is to, to the actors. Now we have a chance to engage into that and to many other things, uh, because again, uh, the uh, objective of today's session has been uh, flagged already by, uh, by, by, by Jackie, uh, uh, but 
The idea is to have a closed door conversation on where we are all going, what's our uh, degree of uh, understanding of the challenges and how we can collectively contribute to have this blue economy not be just a question, an issue of debate, but a, a matter of action, uh, of livelihood for people, of value chain uh, for companies and of uh, stable governance for, for, for authorities.